Hello guys, this is Adib. Welcome to my channel Movement Science where I simplify biomechanics with Joe. In today's video, we are going to talk about the elbow joint capsule. Let's get started. So today we will understand the properties of your elbow joint capsule. We will also see where exactly it is attached and also the synovial fold that is present. So first let us understand the elbow joint capsule and where it is exactly placed. So if you have a look at the plastic model that I have kind of created, these are the bones and there is a plastic wrapper around it, right? So that's what a uh, function of capsule is, it covers the whole joint and inside there is a synovial membrane which produces synovial fluid and lubricates the articulating surfaces and it covers all the articulating surfaces and it is packed like this and it's not very tight because you need movement right inside so it is a loose and weak capsule which allows movement inside but at the same time covers the articulating surface and allows the movement to happen so now that we have understood exactly how it looks like now let us go on to the specific points of the elbow joint capsule so first as I mentioned over here, all the three joints are enclosed in the same one loose weak capsule with its synovial membrane on the inner side, right? The capsule encloses all the margins of the articulating surface. And which are the articulating surface? These are the same ones that we spoke about in the last video over here. See the trochlear notch and the trochlear groove, right? See over here is the trochlea, correct? This is the notch over here. So that's where you can see the dotted line over here is the capsule that is covering over here. Then the next is the coronoid process and the coronoid fossa, right? Coronoid fossa is present over here, which is again covered, you can see. And the process which will go into your coronoid fossa. Next one at the radius, the neck of the radius, you can see the head and the neck is over here. So neck is also covered and it articulates at the humerus over here, right? So radial fossa over here it will go into the radial fossa so even that is covered apart from this the capsule at the ulna right over here there is the annular ligament that is present so the capsule will blend with the annular ligament and at the side that is the medial and the lateral epicondyle the capsule will blend with the medial and lateral collateral ligaments which we will discuss in the next video right so these are the main structures which blend into your elbow joint capsule and elbow joint capsule covers the whole articulating surface and on the inner side there is the synovial membrane which is present now there are some extra synovial folds specifically present between your radius and ulna between the radio ulna joint and this sometimes can lead to pain in the lateral epicondyle region so it can be mistaken for your lateral epicondylitis so a clinical relevance that you need to keep in mind so that's all we have for the capsule of elbow joint complex. In the next video, we will talk about the medial and lateral collateral ligament which stabilize your elbow joint. So stay tuned for that. That's all for today guys. Thank you for watching.